We're going to have a look at how you can determine the wire gauge for a cable on an aircraft. So here's an example question where you've been asked to specify the electrical wiring material required to install a rescue hoist onto a helicopter. The hoist requires 28 volt DC and a 50 amp continuous current. A copper wire with specific resistance of 1.77 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 8 ohms per meter is assumed to be the wire and it is expected to have a length of 5 meters. And you're asked to determine the minimum wire diameter to power the hoist and the wire gauge. So we're going to visualize uh, the issue here. So we have a 28 volt DC bus and the wire is going to run from the bus bar all the way to the hoist and we're going to assume that the wire here is 5 meters length. Okay, so if we refer to advisory circular 4313 we'll see uh, in table 11.6 that I have a 28 volt system and I have continuous load then the allowable voltage drop is 1 volt. So taking that I can determine the resistance of the wire so 1 volt over the 50 amps which we were given in our problem uh, allows the wire to have a resistance of 0 0.02 ohms. I also know that the resistance of the wire is the resistivity times the length all over the cross-sectional area and if I rearrange this equation I can put the cross-sectional area out here and put the resistance down here. So I'm going to plug in the values. So we were told it was copper wire. So that was the resistivity of copper. The length of the wire was 5 meters. And the resistance of the wire we deduced up here to be 0 0.02 ohms. So that works out at 4.44 by 10 to the power minus 6 meters squared. So um, we can do that quickly on the calculator. So if I go 1.77 by 10 to the power of minus 8 and multiply that by 5 and then we're going to divide our answer by 0 0.02 and I get 4.44 by 10 to the power of minus 6 ok so that's the area and the area of the wire well let's say it fair to assume that is a circular cross sectional section so the radius then will be uh, just transposing this equation equal to that. So I know what the area was. We just calculated that in our calculator. And this is pi, and that gives me 1.89 millimeters. And again, just to show you that on the calculator. So here is, uh, here is my area. So I'm going to divide that by pi. And then I'm going to get the square root of the answer. And I get 1.8, 1 1.189 by 10 to the power minus 3. That's in meters. So to bring that to millimeters, I just multiply it by 1,000. So that's my radius. So the diameter is going to be twice that. So the, the diameter is 2.37 millimeters. Okay, the formula for the AWG is this. So uh, if I want to determine that, I'll just plug the numbers in. So once again, I'll go back to my calculator. So we're going to go uh, minus 39. I'm going to multiply this and I'll put this stuff in brackets by the log to the base 92. So I'm going to use this button here. So it's base 92. And that is going to be 2.37. One over point one two seven, and then we're going to close off that bracket, and then we're going to add the thirty six, and that gives me uh, ten point seven five, which means when I actually specify the wire, I'll round down, and I'll use a gauge ten.